A people who are never trained in battle. That's why they called him the Lord my refuge. I declare as you're going forward, as mountains surround Jerusalem, the Lord surrounds you in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jehovah Nisi will be your refuge in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's look at this one more. Jehovah Raha, the Lord my shepherd. The Lord my shepherd, the sh Lord shepherds me. Some variants call him the Lord Jehovah Rohi. A shepherd is one who feeds or leads his flock into pasture. I declare the Lord will always lead you and he will always feed you. And in the midst of that, he will protect you in the name of Jesus. This indicates the intimacy God desires between himself and his people. Praise the Lord. God is with you. No wonder this, then, then, when, the, then, when the psalmist will write about the shepherd they want. He says, yes, you took me through the green parcel. Yes, you took me through the still water. Yes, you took me down the path of righteousness. Ah, but guess what? Now we're in the valley of the shadow of, 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 of death. But he says, you know what? I know you're with me. Your rod there to protect me and your staff to guide me. Praise the Lord. Because he knows that the next place is a place where you set a table before me in the presence of the enemy. While I'm eating, you're battling the enemy and they're seeing me eating while you're preventing them and you're killing them on my behalf. Hallelujah. Why? Because the eventual gain is that... <laughs> And mercy will follow me all the way of my life into the presence of God. Hallelujah. God, well, God wants to take us new wine. God is our shepherd. He is leading us. He is feeding us. And he is protecting us. Let's put our hands together for the... <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jehovah Shabbat. Jehovah Shammah means God is there. He ne that's it, he never leaves us. This indicates God has not abandoned new wine. But, he, but that there he will restore new wine. God is our restoration. He will restore us. He will enhance us. He will build up his own church for himself. Amen. Just know that God is there. In fact, you know what, when I say God is there, no, no, God is, God is, so when I go to work, God is, when anybody shakes my hand at work, they shake, God is, praise the Lord, because that's what Jesus said I did, I have declared your name upon my brethren, praise the Lord, and the whole reason why this is so is because God wants to gain for himself a people that must enjoy this life which is the joy, the peace, the life, the light, the security, and all other blessings. Amen. Once you understand that those names that we put there, and there's 13 and a lot more, go research them. Those names will lead you into all of those three. They will lead you into his joy, lead you into his peace, lead you into his life, lead you into his light, lead you into security, and all other blessings. Because God wants to gain what he desires. Amen. So what should be our response in closing? Our response must be one, we pray and romance the Psalms in the light of the fact that we have the name of God upon us. Ephesians 3, 15. Hallelujah. From whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. But also remember, God is love. Amen. And that love is of which is, is being poured into us. So God has made himself one with us. Hallelujah. And he has poured himself into us, and hence we are in union with him. If we are in union with him, we have his name upon us. Amen. And so we must walk on this earth knowing that we are the ones who are the bearers of his name. And every time we are successful, we come back praising him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this more afternoon, before we close, I want you to stand up onto your feet and begin to declare the name of the God that you carry into every situation. Somebody needs to go out of this place with joy, with peace, with life, with life, with security, and all other blessings. And that blessing is in the name of the Lord. 